This is a cross sum puzzle, also known as Kokoro. We're going to start on the bottom left hand corner. If you take a look at the 4, the 4 is composed of a 1 and a 3. We're going to have to put the 1 down here and put the 3 over here, therefore a 2 goes here. The reason is because if we put the 1 over here and the 3 over here, then there's not two numbers to make a 3. The 6, since we can't repeat digits, has to be a 1, 2, 3. The 2 is already here, we're missing a 1 and a 3, so this has to be a 1 and this one has to be a 3. 3 plus 1 plus 6 makes 10. Then if we look here, this 4 has to be a 1 and 3. So the 1 has to go here and the 3 has to go here. And then a 1 has to go here to make this 4, a 2 has to go here to make this a 9. So in Kokoro, you need to find combinations of numbers that sum up to a certain number. We can't use 2 and 2 because that repeats uh, for 4. We can't use anything in 6 for, with 3 numbers except 1, 2, 3, but we don't know the order. So starting with 4, a 3 and a 1, we had to then figure out which one went into which box. And thank you to Mark Huckbell. These are up on the internet in a small booklet, a mini booklet. Um, about Kokoro puzzles. There's eight of them in this booklet. Okay, thank you very much.